Hello. Hello. Oh, hang on. Whoa. I was lurking on someone and their volume kicked in at the same time. Hello, people. Dumb, um, bore, and preaker. Hello, how are you, people? Lovely, lovely people. We are beetle juicing. It's a little bit low. Um, annoying to have an Elden Ring streams. Blame kicks. He nagged me to join against my will. That's all right. I bullied her into it. Um, I said. I won't be a friend anymore. You have to be, you have to keep carrying stream, you have to keep carrying chat. <laughs> You're obliged. You're obliged. And don't you forget that. Bro, that competition I did the other day got fourth. Which one was that? Which, which song was that? Don't think you're annoying. Yes, yeah, see, see, she's tripping. I just don't have time for lore anymore. Yeah, well that's it, Preka. You're just so fucking busy. Oh, not the one with Paul. Okay. Do we end up hearing that one? I'm trying to remember. You think you're well? Of course you think you're annoying because you're crazy. It's the same way that I think I'm annoying. Even when I somehow have, uh, you know, a large group of people routinely watching me, I'll still feel like I'm the most annoying person in the group. <laughs> but don't worry. I'm tired of feeling like I'm fucking crazy. Are those song lyrics, or are you, are you genuinely expressing that? No, okay, they're song lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as soon as he said, I was like, right. <laughs> Lyrics. <laughs> That's funny. Um, can I get down... How do I get down there? I still feel like I underperformed, but I think I would have done better if they liked the vocal mix, but they didn't. Ah, uh, well, that was the vocalist's fault then. That's nothing to do with you then, Dom. That's the vocalist. Dom is attracted to knuckles. <laughs> I'm not hearing any... Oh, he's 13. Knuckles is... No, I think Knuckles is, like, older. I think Knuckles might be 18. But I might be wrong. Pepsi equals gross. Suburban. Pepsi Cola equals chic. <laughs> what about Crystal Pepsi? Mm. You ever seen a man chug a three litre bottle of 30 year old Crystal Pepsi? In one go? What have you been doing with your life? Where? How do I get down there? I can't remember. Damn, you can see the little guys down there, the tank guys. I can see them rolling around, that big-ass bronze egghead. Just strolling around. How the fuck do I get there? It must be under this passage. So I must have to go from, like, here around? Maybe? Or maybe from down here. Just drink coke, don't be a weirdo. I don't even drink coke these days. Actually, you're reminding me, I need to drink water. Just drink coffee and water. Like a... Like a normal person. Coffee and water, baby. Till I'm dead. Water and water. <laughs> Coffee's so good though. If that's a 
Oh, I'm really confused. How do I get down the air? I have caffeine hypersensitivity. Ah, uh, fair enough, Freako. Yeah, that's fair. I'm like the opposite. I wonder if caffeine actually does anything to me. Might be another indicator that I definitely have some sort of ADHD. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've heard that that can happen, like stimulants not really working uh, properly. Hey, sheep, how you going? Welcome. Um, yeah, stimulants not really working the way they're supposed to if you have ADHD. Hmm. My appointment isn't for like two months, lol. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, well, that's still pretty good. Two months isn't too bad considering... Um, considering how long I've seen some wait times, some wait times that I've been given. Let's... I, is it just... If I follow Seathwater, will this take me there? I'm just going to give it a go. Fuck it. Um, uh, you want to know my... Yeah, yeah, please. What's your team, Dom? Pissed off the Dark Souls 2 subreddit. Oh, no. What have you done, sheep? What happened? Uh, the last time I had... Tim Horton's coffee, my heart started palpitating and I started walking like a zombie. Yeah, fuck that. That definitely does not sound like a good reaction. That does not sound like a fun reaction, Preka. Fuck that. 351, alright. Barrage. Stami. Porygon Z. Crocodile. Rhyperia. Nice. Darmanitan. Nice. Reuniclus. Nice. Yeah, Reuniclus is pretty cool. I do like Reuniclus. And I also adore Darmanitan. I think Darmanitan is a lovely little baby. Little. Little. Little orangutan baby, and I love him. And, um, speak American. <laughs> Talking about Pokemons. Pokemon. See, I'm one of, I was saying this the other day. I was talking to, oh god, what the fuck? Okay. This is interesting. Um, I was talking about it the other day, I was, we were like in a party chat and people were saying, which Pokemon would I be? Which Pokemon would would, would that, that person be? And I um, was talking with one of my friends. I was like, what would Ryan be? And I asked his boyfriend. And I was like, what would Ryan be? And his boyfriend's like, I don't fucking know. I don't know Pokemon. And I was just like, what? Like, you're a weirdo. Like, I just assume... If you're in my generation, or younger, then, like, you should be into Pokemon, or I'm gonna... You know what I mean? I'm just, like, so Pokemon-pilled. I'd be Mr. Mime. <laughs> we said... We said that someone else in our network would be Mr. Mime. That's funny that you said Mr. Mime. What would you be, Molly? Um, sorry, I just... Whoops. Um... I don't know. I, I, I go... Nathan Butterfly, fucking hell. Nathan Butterfly. Um, Jordan says I'd be a Tangler. I think it's kind of hard to pick for yourself. I'd be a Golurk, but I'm not really worthy of that honor. Yeah, few are, Dom. Few are, so don't, feel, don't beat yourself up over it. Um, hang on. I uploaded parry walk video where I walked into a death plane and it killed me, but I was able to still walk around. So I tilted it with the hitbox is so bad. It doesn't kill the character. And most people didn't understand at all and thought I was complaining. Wait, what? But you were just showing something cool. That's... People are so stupid. What the fuck? How, I saw that video of you running around in Iron Keep, right? Mikola's Lily, nascent butterfly. Like a Mikola's Lily leading all the way to the fuck to here. Like, come on. Come on. But yeah, don't worry. I mean, yeah, that's it, sheep. Like, just welcome to Reddit. You know what I mean? Like, Reddit be like, 
here's this amazing discovery I found. Like, what do you all think of it? And they'll just be like, fuck you, hater. And it's just like, what the fuck did you... Like, just... Yeah. I don't even... I don't even... Like, it. if it bothers people on Reddit, that generally I think I must be on the right track these days because they're, they're all... They're fucking lunatics, honestly. They're lunatics, so don't worry about it, sheep. Um... I kind of liked Pokemon when I was a kid. I played Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Ruby. Then I lost interest. I just didn't get it at all, to be honest. Damn, you played it growing up and you're not... Oh, that's interesting. See, I didn't get to play it till after all that stuff had come out. Until about Pokemon Pearl. Um, and I got super into it. That's interesting. I feel like a lot of people who grew up playing it just have this inherent nostalgia for it. So, yeah. I think I'd be Glaceon because I'm cold 24-7. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I feel like Pokemon would be better if it was just cute plushies and not games that are a bit crap. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of what Pokemon is, though. Like, Pokemon, like, I feel like the games, for me, they're, like, the core of it all. But, um, so much of, like, Pokemon these days is, like, everything surrounding it, not inherently the games itself. I mean, there's, yeah, so there's always a game for everyone. Pokemon because of Pokemon Go. No, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think Pokemon Go is a sick game. I'm kind of a bit too tired for it these days, but um, I think Pokemon Go is a sick game. It's really cool. I remember when they, when it came out, when they did the first ad for it, and it was just an April Fool's joke, and then enough people got were so let down that they realized that it would actually be a, a good idea to, <laughs> to actually make it. I remember getting baited by that April Fool's thing, though. I was so excited. I was so excited when I heard about that. And then when it actually came out, I was kind of like, no, I know I'm too, I'm going to get addicted to it. And then I got bullied into playing it, and now I'm addicted to it. And yeah, to be fair, it's not like new Pokemon games have really done anything lately. Like, I feel like the part, like Gen 8 and 9 have been kind of garbage. Absolutely, Fashion Baby. You think, yeah, like I just said, Gen 8 and 9, if those were just released as standalone games that weren't actually Pokemon, they would be fucking dunked on. Everyone would hate them. Yeah, well, they are supposed to be family-friendly. Bear in mind, like, you know, I feel like that's. I feel like they aren't... They're kind of kids' games, but I think there is enough in there that I can appreciate them, even as an adult. But hmm, I guess it, it, it depends on your taste. Uh, one of the main reasons I like Pokemon games is because I feel like they're able to tackle kind of more heavy subject matter in a really, like, family-friendly way. Almost all the games involve, like, you know, coping with things like death and loss and acceptance and stuff, but they always, they always are able to frame things in a really kind of, like, family-friendly way, which I think is a really... It's a tricky tightrope to walk, but they do a really, really good job of it, in my opinion. And I think that, for me, that's kind of what the soul of Pokemon games is. Is being able to do have those sorts of... Japanese games are good at that. Yeah, absolutely. Going to be streaming a little while. Yeah, we only just started, Shalia. Are you going to be taking a break? I'm lurking on you right now, by the way. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. I was wondering why it got a bit quiet. Um, um, this would be really funny in a movie, two guys talking to Bob, but the other guy takes a giant swig at a giant water bottle every sentence. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I know. I need to get a straw so I don't have to... Uh, yeah, I need to get a straw. All right, let's explore in here. I'm really curious. We have bas basilisks. We have Mikola stuff. Hmm. Oh, nice! You beat Celeste today. Oh, cool. What did What do you think of it? Like, I think I mentioned last stream that AJ, who hangs out in here every now and then uh, was also streaming that.
Brother used to sell Pokemon cards at school and he made loads of money. Yo, that's pretty smart. Like, what do you mean, like, buying booster packs and then just selling the cards individually or something? Next up on my gaming to-do list is Frostpunk 2 when that comes out. Nice, nice. Gonna start your uh, cannibalistic child labor <laughs> society sheep. Um, my mum to this day is obsessed with Pokemon Go. Oh, really? So I'm the only one who doesn't like it? Well, damn, oh, yeah, my parents, my parents are the reason I got into Pokemon Go. Well, it was my dad, my sister, and her partner were all playing it, and then they, like, nagged me for so long that I eventually caved. And then my mum got into it, and she got into it more than any of us, and she reached, like, max level. Well, she's still not max level, but at the time, level 40 was max level, and she... She made it to max level in no time. That's funny, though. Finished reading Dracula, by the way. Loved it. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, you, you said that one's not very long, right? I still need it. Thanks for reminding me. I need to keep reading Haunted. I keep getting fucking distracted. What's new, right? It's very long. Oh, okay. Is it Dracula is way long? Is it Vampire that's short? Am I getting them confused again? Get raided, nerd. Hello, Sogrub91. Welcome. Hi. How are you going? Oh, my goodness. Vampire is short story. Oh, Shalia. Hello. Right. Yeah. Hi, Shalia. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Hi. So Grub91, hello, welcome. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Hi, I'm Kick6. I play Um I play games and uh, I talk about the games and um and and things like that. Hello, hello Shalia, hello, welcome, how are you going today? Sweet Shalia. How do I wait, sorry, hang on, wait. I remember I know how to do this. I remembered. Please work. How do I do it? Boom. No. How was stream, by the way? You were playing Dogma? Oh my goodness. Why won't this work? <laughs> I'm sorry. There, shout out. Boom. What the fuck? Go away. Oh my god, everything's breaking. I'm so sorry. Hi, yeah. This is what things are normally like, by the way. So, yeah. Just for any new faces. This is as organized as I uh, usually am. <clears throat> Good playing Dragon's Dogma, one of my favorite games, as flawed as it is. Were you playing the original, or isn't there a new one that's just come out, Shulia? The best streams are scuffed. Well, thanks, Sheep. I do appreciate that, because I, Lord knows I am a very fucking scuffed... I'm just a scuffed person. But yeah, um, yeah. Been playing the original? Wait, what do you mean? What do you, what do you, we're using quotation marks. What's up? Is it a remake or something like that? A remaster? Can't wait to play DD2. But yeah, uh, yeah, generally play from games. Talk about lore c compulsively and obsessively. And, uh, yeah. So if you like, if you like looking at Things in a binocular or a telescope, whatever the fuck is in this game. Um, yeah. Hang on. You're gonna, you're gonna, I know you're gonna cause problems if I go down a small tunnel. So you gotta go, homie. It's okay, we have, um, we do have pure poison. So we're good. Um, hang on, let me just catch up. Um, it's more so a re-release. Oh, I see. That's, what, what do you mean a re-release? Did they re, like, it's not a remaster? They just, I'm so... What's the lore of Bragart's balls? <laughs> Bragart's heavy iron balls, indeed. 
Cure Poison, what a boring name. Yeah, there are a lot of really shit incantation names in Elden Ring, i got to say. Welcome, Lucas. How are you going? Slime slaying. Not the most pleasant of professions, but someone's got to do it. That's right. Someone's got to unclog those pipes. Um... Overall, an improvement to the original release, but it's missing the Berserk armors. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even know that th that game had Berserk references. Um, hang on, let me just read Preka's comment. It was really nice because I remember visiting England to meet my great aunt and great uncle. They live in Yorkshire. So I went to Whitby and climbed up the long stairs beside the Hill of Graves and went up to Whitby Alley. And my dad said, this is where Dracula was written. And I remember thinking, like, well, that's fucking morbid. Look at all those graves. <laughs> yeah, damn. That's pretty sick, though, Pre-K. God damn. That's awesome. Um, Ruby! Wooby! How you going? Welcome. Welcome, Ruby. <clears throat> what are you up to today? Uh, but Mina described Whitby so eloquently. I want to visit again. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. I wouldn't mind going back there. I've only been to the UK, like, once. Uh, original Dragon's Dogma cannot be bought anymore. Now you can buy Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Oh, I see. So it was like a Dark Souls remaster type thing where they're replacing their original game with a new version. I see. That's kind of shit. D D D D D D D D D D D A is the regular game, but will with all the DLC goodies included and the Berserk armor removed because licensing contract expired. Ah, oh, that's so shit. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That's kind of frustrating. Uh, to be fair, heal and great heal are boring, but what other fucking name would you give them? Called Cure Poison Antidote. Sure, it's more used as a name, but... Yeah, Cure... Yeah, I, I think... Look, honestly, I think a lot of the incantation names are really, really strange in this game. Like, they're, you know, like, Oh, Flameth. Oh, Great Flameth of the Flame of the... Of the... You know, they're all just really weird and, like, long-winded and just strange aspects of the crucible tale you know what i mean like they're just all very like long-winded names i don't know i find them a bit clunky um i'm okay just warming up to nuke my sanity <laughs> wait what are you gonna nuke your sanity on are you playing val berserk license wasn't removed because but Berserk isn't popular in the West radio <laughs> meanwhile elden ring that's hysterical what the fuck that's a solo queue comp, nice. That's hysterical, Shalia. What the fuck? I like to imagine the character speaks out loud. Yeah, like a Digimon. <laughs> like they're saying the name of the attack that they do. <laughs> Why? Wait, what was in here? Did I already come down here? Did I have a fucking... Did I come from down there? I must have. I must have just branged. I must have had a brain, a brain attack or something. Let's um. Let me just get out of here. Let me get out of this this pit of slime. Um. It's not worth it, Ruby. <laughs> Giant flame, take thee. Agumon, use giant flame, take thee. Wah. Um. I need to stop being a silk and solo queue because no one comes and holds my hand when I want to queue. Ah, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. Think all the other games in the world. Yeah, true. Elden Ring needs to be renamed to balance issue because... <laughs> The game's combat is unbalanced. Naming system is inconsistent, giving it an unbalanced... Yeah. That's pretty funny. It's too... I know, it's too hot today, Fashion Baby. I know. I've had the AC on, like, for the past two days straight. Probably, uh... Probably gonna regret it financially, but what are you gonna do? It's like I either die of heat or I die of, uh... I die of an empty bank account. <laughs> How hot is it today, right, Ruby? It's fucking... I'm dying. I'm dying. Um, it's kind of accurate to some demono demonological incantations or magic. Oh, really? Is that true, Lucas? Do they have uh, spell names like that in, like, demonology or something like that? We told you hand, but I forbade myself from playing League again. Yeah, um, I am only on League. I have enough mental bandwidth to be competitive in one right game. <laughs> Valorant is the leading cause of dropouts in my class. Yeah, no kidding. 
Any federal agents in chat? Welcome, Dunker. Welcome. I solo queue in all games. Yeah, I... Yeah, even in my... I, I'm kind of... When I'm, like, shit in Titanfall. Going back to play Titanfall, even in anything more than, like, a trio, is, like, excessive, in my opinion. Even if you're mediocre at the game, doing more than a trio. Unless you're, like, below average. That's, like, the only justification, because it's just overkill. But it's different game. Different ca games require different approaches. Um, I don't know who thought this kind of heat was okay. God has a lot to answer t for, to be fair. Yeah, I agree fully. Yeah, what's what's up, Buster? Um, even games that are built around duos, yeah. I should re-download Titanfall 2. Ooh. Yeah, I used to be... I used to love that game. I kind of had to stop playing, though, because it was just a bit too toxic for me. I couldn't really handle it. Rats. That being said, I have made, like, literal, you know, lifelong friends in Titanfall 2 as well. Like, some of my closest friends uh, in the world are people that I met in Titanfall 2. But, um... Made a lot of non-not friends as well. <laughs> yeah. That's just how it be, though, I suppose. Um... Our game was too toxic, play Zelda Ring. <laughs> oh, that game. Sorry, I thought you were putting on, like, a pirate accent, so Grob. <laughs> oh, look, they're, like, walking in this little... Oh! They're so cute. They're in a little conga line. Look at them. Yeah. I don't want to... I don't want to disturb that. Preserving boluses. Ah, we got a... We've got a... We've got a mean person. Get the hell out of here. That was toxic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, where, where... Where did you come from? What? Also, that guy didn't get flame affected. That was weird, he didn't burn. This thing is supposed to burn people. Um... Oh, wait. Hello, FBI, open up. February 7th. <laughs> Danka. Oh my god. Uh, what are you up to today, Dunker? How are you going? It's good to have you in here, homie. Um, uh, my cold has become so... Wait, wait, are you sick, Breaker? I had to consult the school board about the temperature and what I can bring to class for warmth because the community coordinators literally robbed my blanket. What the fuck, Preka? What the fuck? That's wild. Can they... Can you just wear, like, really cold wet winter clothing or something? Titanfall's community is an enigma. Titanfall's community is an insane asylum. Uh, Shalia. Yeah. And to be fair, I kind of have played my part in that. <laughs> I may have had somewhat of a role to play in the, uh, in the, in the cracking. <laughs> There's, uh, yeah, there was some stuff. There was some stuff. One of my friends may have played a prank on the community, and it may have, uh, it may have resulted in the loss of sanity of thousands of people. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what's wrong with Titanfall people? Nothing. It's literally the best FPS game ever made. Best FPS game ever made. Hands down. Zero argument. I'm objectively correct. It's a fact. I... <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Could. I don't know. <laughs> Could've. <laughs> Shalia knows. <laughs> she 
Julia knows. Yes. If so, yeah, he is. He is literally an ins like an evil genius. He's literally an evil genius. He's like a. Uh, he's like a villain. He might pop up in chat today as well. So. But yeah, I, I adore him. He is like he's such a fantastic person. I adore him to pieces. But he's an evil genius. Um. Uh. I'm Hang on, wait, sorry. Um... 10 out of 4, good buddy. <laughs> um, so fun fact, 99 intelligence, great heavy soul arrow, regular catalyst, red tear stone, doesn't do enough damage to kill Taurus Demon in one hit, and people say magic is easy mode. Yeah, well that, I mean, if you can't one-shot every boss in the game, is the game easy? Get real, guys. Um... Way, this this long story, this robbery, this community coordinator took your blanket. I'm loading up. Can I get a plus one for good juju and aim, please? Let's get a plus one for Ruby. May your aim be true, indeed, indeed, Ruby. Um, if the interface of the game didn't suck, you would have done something about that poison instead of just letting yourself be poisoned because doing otherwise would require Eldritch, the Eldritch menus just saying, yeah, maybe. No, I mean, to be honest, the poison in this game, there's so much, like, I think it's just that they've made poison and lava. Like, I would comfortably stand on lava while reading out chat in this game because it's just, like... What are the consequences of me standing in lava? Like, oh, I'm gonna slowly have my health sapped away like I've been bitten by a fucking mosquito. Like, yeah, well, I don't really care that much all of a sudden, do, do I? Because you've kind of just, like, made the consequences of, like, most status. It's And it's just kind of funny as well, because it's like, it's like, poison, you're gonna be, it's gonna take you, like, <laughs> it's gonna take you, like, five minutes to die. Or Death Blight, you're dead, you're already dead. Um, I just think it's kind of funny how it's like that. Hey! Olden Room, we're not really finding anything interesting around here. Oh, well, this is kind of interesting. Wait, hang on. Uh. Hey. No, don't- if they start doing that weird celestial... The weird comet attack thing. Uh, he confiscated it without any notice or an email about the school's restrictions for blankets, so I talked about the school advice- That's fucking confiscating it. It's so excessive. Like, what, you're not in high school, you're in fucking college. That seems so... so unnecessary. Like, surely you could just say something first. Like, don't bring it. Just leave it in your dorm. And you probably would have been like, okay. <laughs> Um, and when I asked, when I asked it back, he talked to me in the most condescending way, and I went to my counselor and asked what to do, and I have to contact, have a contact for someone who can put this guy in his place. That's fucking ridiculous. Over a fucking blanket. This guy's a, yeah, that sounds like power tripping. Recognizing enemy patterns is the true easy mode. To play the game correctly, you have to do a frontal lobotomy. <laughs> Grub gets it. Grub knows how it works. That's so funny. Um, bring back Dark Souls 1 Lava. Yeah, I kind of agree, to be honest, Shalia. It just feels so like the stakes are so low with Lava around that it may as well not even... There may as well not even be stakes, you know what I mean? Like, you may as well have just had fucking, like, a pool of lukewarm water. Um... Do you need to spend, like, over a minute in the menu? I mean, you could just get really good at menu navigation, but yeah, it is a bit excessive. I always go into item crafting, because I expect that to be where the inventory is. But yeah, I do get what you mean. I do think the inventor uh, the interface in this game is a little bit bloated. There isn't a Blytown equivalent. It's a game for babies. Fully, yep, Shalia gets it. Um, you're saying I can't kill the blacksmith and hinder my progress? Bad game. <laughs> Lake of Rot. The mosquitoes... Do mosquitoes serve the greater purpose of, of, a, of sustaining a proper ecosystem, or can they just go away and we would all be fine? It's an interesting question, Donka. It is interesting. I, I haven't, um... I'm not sure... 
I think there are a few spe species of insects that humans have intentionally tried to eradicate permanently. Like we've tried to make these types of bugs go extinct, but it can be tricky. I guess it's trickier with bugs, I suppose. Um, but I think it might have been was it screw flies or bot flies? I think they tried to they tried to extinct. How do you, what do you say genocide? I guess I don't know, but they've tried to do that to a couple of types of uh, flesh-eating flies, and it didn't work. But they did they did attempt it. But yeah, I'm not too sure. It's an interesting question, though. Eradicate is a good term? I think so, yeah. Well, if it isn't the bottom feeders, hello, books. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, books. How are you today? Uh, like, Rot doesn't have 5 FPS? Yeah, true. <laughs> true sheep. Uh, Lake of Rot is baby mode easy. Just run across the lake while healing. Yeah, kind of valid, Shalia, honestly. Yeah, you can just equip a talisman, cast a spell, and you're basically, like, running around the overworld. He robbed me, and then when I went through three hours of trouble, he talked to me like his baby. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking arsehole. One crack away from swinging at his face. Yeah, honestly. Constant running to a boss is not a good area. Yeah. According to some studies, mosquitoes... Oh, sorry. Mosquitoes could be removed from the ecosystem overnight and the food chain would be fine. That's really interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Because, I mean, like, the only... The, I guess the question is what feeds off of mosquitoes. I, I don't know if there's that much. But it does, you know, it does, of course, like, raise the question, like, if I was to go, like, super paranoid on it, I'd be like, well, what, what if that means this other bug can't eat? And then that, uh, then that bug population dwindles and then that causes the bug that eats that population to dwindle and it keeps on climbing up the food chain and then all of a sudden a species of bird goes extinct and that you know what i mean i don't know but that's like i'm not a fucking biologist i don't know that's just like me imagining a worst case scenario um mosquitoes such as 80 edies EGT, I'm probably not saying that right, are functionally impossible to extin extinguish. Yeah, I imagine that would be the case too. It's like, it's practically impossible to, to um, get rid of certain species of bugs because they're just like, it's, it's just not, it's just practically not a thing. Also, spontaneous generation. We all know that flies spontaneously just generate out of any dead body. So it's impossible to get rid of flies because they literally just, uh, they just naturally grow, um, on corpses like warts, right? That's how, that's how it works. That was so satisfying. I've never, I've never got a crit on one of these things because they don't spend long enough in their, uh, state of being critical. Punk ass flowers. There's like nothing in here. Oh, mushroom set. Ah, oh, well, okay. All right. I'm complaining and then getting stuff. Uh, here's my day, walked a mile to Goodwill, walked a mile back, walked a mile to get a burrito, walked a mile back, felt its effects, walked a mile until I started burping, walked a mile back. That sounds good. You're a good walker, Books, I have to say. It's pretty impressive, your uh, walking habits. It is good. It is good. Would have been easier if I, actually, if I was actually rode, because I, then it wouldn't have been a wouldn't have been the personal res wouldn't have been personally responsible for making me feel safe and welcomed in the program. Well, I'll let you'll move on to No, you're right, Preka. That does sound like a pile of bullshit though. This person sounds like they're power tripping. Honestly, which is just pathetic like when your power trip revolves around depriving a cold person from a blanket. <laughs> like <laughs> that's the most like demented form of like abuse power abuse, honestly. That I've ever heard of. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Like you're breaking a rule, you know, like you've been caught vaping in the bathroom. Ah, uh, she's trying to keep warm. What should I do about it? Um, well... Yeah, well, like... It's, that's insane. Yeah, it's just wild to me, Perico. It's like it's like something out of a fucking cartoon. Like you just couldn't make this shit up. It's just so silly. I would love to. Yeah, I would love to hear what this person thinks that they're doing in their own head. Like how they've rationalized this is a as a as a normal thing to do. Save the bees, kill the mosquitoes instead. One hundred percent, Shalia. One hundred percent. Just makes me imagine bug spray executives lobbying to save mosquitoes. <laughs> urban mosquitoes are just useless. Non-urban mosquitoes almost don't exist anymore. Is that true? So sorry, having to deal with that? Yeah, it sounds like trash. Extremely not the case, by the way. Surely, yeah, surely there's... T what do you mean non-urban mosquitoes almost don't exist anymore? Because I can tell you, we definitely have shitloads of mosquitoes in uh, rural areas. Down here, at least. Um, they also spawn from fruit, don't they? That's right. The poop trip. Just feeding to my black swan. <laughs> um, uh, as far as I know, only Egypt has mosquitoes that don't like humans. Which cave is this again? Um, this is... Seathwater Cave. It, oh, it's at the... Ba I didn't realize that it's at the base of a... Uh, it's like we're directly under a minor road tree. The burned minor road tree too, interestingly. So I'm wondering if maybe that's what all these acolytes of rot are doing here. Because it's like to do with like... We're in like the festering root system or something like that. I haven't really noticed any roots though. But I'm, I'm wondering if that might be... Like if it's at all significant... To the uh, presence of all these acolytes of rot. Um, bees and most kinds of wasps are extremely necessary to maintain not just certain ecosystems, but the entire biosphere. No shit, okay. FromSoft trying to make Elden Ring fair, but hard, by removing 99% of environmental status effects, but making annoying enemies more annoying and turning the game into a reaction test. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah, that's like an extremely valid take, Sheep. Um, go nuclear and bring multiple space heaters and extension cords to all your classes. <laughs> I'm imagining, I'm imagining like they are, um... <laughs> like they're doing like the the metal detector on Preka, and they're like, wait, she's she's got something, and they like open up. She like takes off her jacket, and she's got like an electric blanket strapped to her, like she's wearing a vest of dynamite, and they all like <laughs> they like tell her to get on the ground. <laughs> uh, blankets equal terrorism, Preka, and you should know better. Me and my joke off block. <laughs> She's like, you've got like hot water bottles strapped. Ma'am, drop the blanket. <laughs> She's got hand warmers. She's got hand warmers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, watch out, Preka. Watch out. I've got a taser. Um, mosquitoes actually have an important ecological niche and urban ecosystems are actually more important than people realize feeding on blood is sometimes a mosquito does once in its life it's the it uses the nutrients to reproduce um i think he finds it funny that's demented to be honest one of the only things i didn't like about the game are enemies that chain combos and animation cancel otherwise it's quite fair um i think it just depends on what you enjoy in the games sometimes i think the combat in this game is like the best but sometimes i get really frustrated and it feels very roll spammy i think that's my biggest criticism of it is that like rolling is is a bit too forgiving sometimes like you can kind of get away i get out of most dangerous situations by just hitting the circle button enough times but other than that you know it really depends it really depends though encounter by encounter criticisms imo um so most enemies in the game, well, fuck mosquitoes, they're always spreading viruses and shit, yeah. 
true. Animation cancelling is one of the worst things the series has ever done. Yeah, I could kind of agree with that. It de it depends though. To be honest, I really I think it really all depends. It's all situ it's all like circumstantial. Um, how quaint that perhaps the worst mosquito bears the country's pseudo name. Egypty. Ah, uh, true. Ma'am, drop the blanket. Uh, because it originated there, and there's only one place that still has mosquitoes that don't prey on humans. Ah. Uh -huh. Safety regulation. It's a fucking bl Oh my god, what are you gonna do? What the fuck? But like, could you wear a poncho? Like, what, what if you just cut a hole in the blanket and wore it as a piece of clothing? Would it all, all of a sudden be okay? Is it just one of those technicality things? Because it kind of seems like that. Uh, I blame the fall of modern From Software on Dark Souls team being the first medium role, effectively the same as... Wait, is there a, there's not medium role in Dark Souls 2. I thought Dark Souls 2 remo was the first game to remove medium role. Am I, am I incorrect? I thought that was where they did away with medium role. Dark Souls 2 has all three, does it? I swear it doesn't. It has a medium roll. What? Did I medium roll my entire playthrough of Dark Souls 2 without realizing it? Yeah. No shit, I did. Fuck, what the fuck? Have I ever light rolled in Dark Souls 2? I'm like questioning if I've ever light rolled now. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, you can. You can level up adaptability, which increases the amount of iframes you get out of rolls. So, Grub. That is correct. Somebody thinks Sekiro iframes are forgive. I couldn't agree more. Forgiven. Forgiving. Earthen Peak to Iron Keep Elevator. Yeah. Yeah. Dark Souls 2's fast rolls are based on distance. Oh, I, and okay, I see. Dark Souls 2 proves Schrodinger right, and no two people can look at the same Dark Souls 2 role and agree on what they saw. <laughs> Is the role white and blue or black and gold? Wait, no, it's this way. It's this way? Hang on. Am I getting lost? I think I'm getting a little lost. No, here we go. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Yay! Also, I should use rejection more. I need to remember I've got these miracles so I can, like, test things out. I've not been doing that. I want to, like, test if I can, you know, knock projectiles away and that, that sort of thing. Oh, shit. Wait, is this right? Am I... Alright, I think I can see the ground. Alright. I was having four kings flashbacks. Which I only recently learned. Apparently a more accurate translation of uh, four kings is actually like the four rulers or the four lords. Which is kind of... In I was like, oh, that kind of makes a little more sense. So why would you have four kings for one place? Seems a little excessive. Um, actually, all Dark Souls 2 is rolling based on distance because the iframes are the same. Oh, okay. Exactly, the issue shouldn't be distance, it's what's determined by the equip load. Elden Ring combines the two and fails. Elden Ring doesn't have equip load, though. I'm gonna call it. Wait, what do you mean? Are you done? Are you done sewing? Let's come up with a name for how privileged the dominant side of the binary makes the subservient side of the binary. Oh, right, sorry, I missed, I didn't read that part. I didn't realize you were thinking of a name for something. I was like, she's calling it, huh? Um, wait, how the privileging, how privileging the dominant side of the binary makes the subservient side of the binary full of conceptual tensions, so it's easier to refer to casually. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that does need a term. The, the amount that we talk about that. Um... Actually, uh, you try rolling in heavy armor and compare it to no armor and see if there's distance change. Dark Souls 1 has the best roll system with Demon Souls being a good alternative. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. I think the, um... 
Omnidirectional can maybe be a little bit forgiving. I think the only thing that I find maybe annoying is how fast you can spam roll. But it's not too bad. I get that it's like, you know, it makes people in, like inherently enjoy the game more when it's more responsive. But I feel like just a little bit of delay or something might have made it feel a little bit more satisfying when you actually get your rolls right. Um... In fact, 69.9% .9 is optimal because it makes it easier to land hits after dodging. Oh, I see. I'm not done talking about Dracula, Dracula yet. So cool seeing the characters like Renfield and Van Helsing originate from the book. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, because it's a king, a vice king, a vice vice king, and a vice 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 king. <laughs> I'm being promoted to vice vice king. Wow. The Vice King is so benevolent. Uh, that's so funny, Grub. Uh, shouldn't be optimal, it should be worse, yeah. Which is what inspired Elden Ring system. It's almost the same. Dark Souls 2 is more nuanced, though. Inverted meaning? Oh, yeah, true, inverted meaning. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. Elden Ring's rolling is the worst in the series. I mean, it just uses Dark Souls 3 system without giving rolls poise. Oh, rolls? I didn't realize rolls had poise. In Dark Souls 3. Um, facts for life, exploiter of the Dark Souls 2 role mechanics. All reality, all matter, antimatter, light, gas, liquid, solid, sound, color, and time are categorizations the human brain uses to make sense of an incomprehensible world. Everything that exists or can exist is the rate at which the one great thing that exists, the universe, is undulating in waveforms. God damn, that's a pretty good ex pretty good explanation of Dark Souls 2 rolling. <laughs> Screw rolling, I want Bloodborne Quick Steps. Yeah, honestly, that's the thing, right? Here's, okay, here's my fucking... Here's my um, uh, contradiction. I don't like roll spamming. I don't I don't dislike dash spamming. When dash spamming make is actually like more forgiving than roll spamming. And I think... It, I wonder if it purely stems from the fact that dashing... Dash spamming looks cool... Roll spamming does not look cool. Is that it? Is that is that the only reason that I'm biased? Because I am definitely biased, but it's just like, is that what's doing it? Is it just how cool you look when you do it? Is that why I want the ninja flip back so bad? They should have brought the ninja flip back, by the way. Oh, uh, fuck Bloodborne Steps. Give me the, yeah, ninja flip, yep. <laughs> Quick step Elden Ring is better than rolling. Yeah, it is. But they did nerf it, which is kind of good. But, yeah, I don't know. Van Helsing is a certified baby... Certifi <laughs> certified baby, certified daddy in Dracula. Oh, no kidding. Fextra life explainer in Dark Souls 2 role mechanics. Frenzy meat of... <laughs> Another example of tension in the inverted meanings of darkness. Chaos and darkness are opposites. But they put in the same kind of category. Ah, oh, yeah, true. Yeah, true. True, that's a good way of putting it. Dark Souls 3 poise doesn't exist. Dark Souls 3 has eye armor, which sucks ass. Yeah, well, it's just... Yeah, I mean, I suppose... But, I mean, they call it poise, right? Like, they poise is a stat. It's just, like, it functions extremely differently. Um, in Dark Souls 3, heavy, medium and heavy rolls get poised. Light roll doesn't get poised. Oh, I didn't realize. Quick step spam is more practical speaking in a realistic sense. Light roll should be the ninja flip. Let the other roll stay the same. Yeah. Oh, I reckon they should have just done it as like a like a like a upgrade, like the bloodhound step or something, but make it in just different animation. I don't know. I don't know. There is like no ninja shit in Elden Ring, though. By the way, like there's no ninja shit, which I kind of I'm like, huh? Like there's no shadow set. You know what I mean? There's like the Ronin set. There are Eastern sets, but there's no like. Shinobi set, which I find kind of strange. So it would be cool to get one. Uh, my cat, whose name is Shalqua, rolls twice towards the net when I let her play at the balcony. Aww. The reason I prefer Dark Souls 1 roll system. Distinct categories of roles with unique animations. Yeah, I do think Dark Souls 1 was kind of the most interesting. Also, like, in Dark Souls 1... 
Land of Raids DLC when I mean Mickler is in a field of raids in the thing. So, <laughs> hey, it could happen. You know, Land of Raids is, you know, bloody and stuff. Mickler's been taken by Moog into the Blood Dynasty. Mickler might be having some sort of bloody raid dream. Who knows? But they're, they're, in, a, they're in a field of raids in the DLC picture, so... Um... Samurai is one. Please don't bring up the ninja vs. Samurai thing. Wait, is that a thing, Shalia? Um, I think she's looking for an illusory wall. Aw, that's cute. Oh, yeah, right. I just realized I'm uh, lurking on myself now because I was lurking on Shalia and I've been raided. Are you fucking kidding me? It's just kindreds of rot? <laughs> 